In the following slides, we are going to select the nodes at the upper and lower tips. So far we have defined the name of the response, its type and the nodes of interest. However, one thing is missing. We need to tell the system whether we would like to track translational and or rotational displacements and whether we are interested in their respective components or magnitude. Here, we are interested in the magnitude of their translational displacement. Note, the response is listed in the model browser. Are we done with the responses? Which response is missing? Do you remember? Now we need to create the response with respect to the volume. This response is simply named VOA. As before, we need to specify the type of response. Note, both responses are listed in the model browser. What is next? Do you have any ideas? The responses will now be used to create design constraints. What is happening in here? We need to select a response and assign the lower and or upper bound to it. And here we do not specify any directions etc. This is done in the response panel. Now we name the constraint. The displacement constraint is named CDISP. Again, the name of the constraint is your choice. We are placing an upper limit on the magnitude of the displacements. This limit is 0.07 mm. Remember, the displacement of the base design was 0.02 mm. the optimization may be carried out with respect to different load situations. Thus, we need to reference the load steps of interest. Only one load step is available to choose, namely the load step, opposing. Notice the new entity which is added to the model browser. Up to this point, we have defined the design variable, responses and constraints. So, what is missing? We still need to specify the purpose or objective of the optimization. Again, we are going to reference a previously defined response. Do you remember which response it will be? In our case, we intend to minimize the volume. Other objective definitions such as maximize, min max or max min are also available. And finally, the objective is listed in the model browser. The definition of the optimization objective completes the model setup. What do you think about it? It isn't that hard, don't you think so? All we need to do now is to launch the optimization run. Make sure to set the export options according to your needs and display settings. Also make sure that the correct run option is set. If you were to choose the run option, analysis, then the optimization would be ignored. Make sure, and please don't forget, to add the file extension FEM. Otherwise you might have files that may not be referenced properly. In this interactive video, you will be introduced to the most essential post-processing techniques, typically employed while evaluating and interpreting optimization results. Just click on the play button in order to view this video.